Hi everyone, welcome to Snippets and Scraps. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here. So um, as you can tell, today I am going to set up my 2023 Hobonichi Weeks as well as talk you through how I intend to use it in the coming year. So yeah, if you're interested, then please keep on watching. First thing is, let me tell you which one I got for 2023. This is the tropical yellow color uh, Hobonichi Weeks. This is the Mega and this is the English edition. So um, this is the first year that Hobonichi has come up with an English edition for some of their um, planners, including the Hobonichi Weeks so i decided to get one of those and i chose the yellow because from the mega lineup i think um i did not like any of the others and besides i usually like to tuck in both the um, covers anyway so it does not really matter to me much um, and even if i don't tuck it in i can always um, cover it up with any kind of paper so yeah the cover that I plan to use at the beginning is this new cover from uh, Motum. This is in the color apricot and this is from their new veg tan, um, yeah, veg tan line. And this is what I plan to use at the beginning, but I do like to change my covers throughout the year. So, um, of course, I'm going to do that. But for now, this is the cover that I plan to use. And then uh, regarding the pen, I am not a big ballpoint pen user, but I do have this Uni Jetstream. Uh, this is the four in one, which has um, four colors, black, blue, green, and red, along with a pencil. So uh, this is what I plan to use this year. Although uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to stick to it because I love using fountain pens but because next year I may be super busy with the baby and everything so I think I will at least try and use a ballpoint at the beginning because I may not have the time to you know let the planner dry when I'm using it so yeah that's the plan regarding the pen now I don't want to talk you through um, the you know the layout of this planner because there are so many videos out there you can check them out and um, uh, the idea is that you have the monthlies at the front uh, all stacked together followed by your weekly pages and then you have quite a few grid pages at the back which are uh, notes pages so that's the basic layout of this planner and um, I have always been a daily planner kind of a person. As you know, I use an A6 Stalogy and, and I like to plan daily. I have my daily pages and I like making lists of everything. Even if those are basic daily chores, I like to write them down and check them off. Um, that makes me more productive and I feel like um, I like to keep track of say when I did my laundry or when I washed my hair last and those kind of things small things but I like to keep track of them so this is going to be a challenge in how many weeks of course because as you can see there's just this much space each day and you have this uh, page on the other side but there's only so much you can do with it I can always go for like say an Alistair method or something like that but I do like to check them off which is why I got the mega so that I can you know have like um, you know half a page maybe per day so that I can make lists and check them off so that's my idea um, so I am going to use the back pages mainly as daily logs uh, but apart from that, I also intend to use the daily, um, the back pages for some collections. Um, so I am going to set them up as and when necessary, uh, because of which I will definitely have to use the index pages because I don't want to uh, try and fit all the collections at the front or at the back because I don't know how many collections I need. And so I feel like if I try... To count pages it may not work so i want to use 
the next blank page available to me and then index it accordingly so i will definitely leave a couple of pages for index and since these pages are numbered so it should not be an issue at all so that's how i plan to use my hubenichi weeks and um let me quickly show you my current hubenichi weeks um so as you can see uh these are pretty simple pages i put some stickers here and there uh or washi but overall i do not use kits or anything like that in fact the front pages are super bare i just have a couple of coffee monsters core stickers these are all freebies and nothing here nothing here so that's how uh that's what i'm going to do for 2023 as well i'm not going to overly decorate anything it's going to be a super simple planner so let me quickly show you what all i have uh picked out starting from the cover i mentioned that i'm going to use this cover and most likely i will be putting in both sides oh my god this is going to be quite a struggle trying to put both sides in because this is not turning as you can see because of the whole bulk at the back it's difficult to turn so i hope i don't break my planner on the first day so yeah that's gone in so because of this reason i have this clear cover but i may not use it because if i put both front and back covers in i don't really need any extra protection so that's the plan for now but if i feel at any point that i do need a clear cover then i have this one with me another thing that may bug me is the fact that this motorm cover doesn't really lie flat as you can see it pops right back up because of this back pocket this is the only reason why i don't like the motorm covers i am thoroughly enjoying my eternal leather goods cover this is beautiful and lays flat so yeah but i also like the motorm covers because of how they feel and everything so i'm going to give it a shot if not i think maybe i'll just uh probably sell it i have another one in the cover in the color caramel but this is the one in apricot so here i think i am going to stick the oh where did i drop it oh here it is um i think i'm going to stick the clear folder uh clear pocket or maybe i can put it here or oh, this way oh no i think i'll just go ahead and put this clear pocket here so i hope it is straight enough yeah so there you go um last year i put this uh information card that came with this particular hobonichi weeks in there and i did not use it functionally or decoratively at all um this year however i think i am going to put this um it's a printable that i got off of etsy so i think i'm going to just put this one here just for decoration um nothing fancy or anything that's it uh i think it's a, it's a little too wide though so maybe i can just put it here maybe i can put this one here for now uh this also i got off of etsy it's again a printable uh if you're interested i will link uh these in the description box below and next for this page again i don't want to do much but i got these little vinyl stickers from etsy no not from etsy i got it from her um website these are from pmd stickers so i think i'll just use one of these um so either this or this so i think something like this will look good or I think I'll go with this one. 
because 2023 is already written there so I don't need another one here so maybe this one uh, I'm not putting a lot of thoughts into these just just purely decorative so it doesn't really matter much so yeah that's done and now for this one I don't really want to do anything um, I may write down like birthdays and anniversaries here but apart from that I plan to track my cycle on this page and uh, I don't think I'll cover up 2022 as well I'll just leave it the way it is um, and this one now this page I have not used before and I don't know how to use it because the columns are just too thin for anything so um, there are two things that I have in mind one is uh, keeping track of my steps or I could track like these that I have worked out um, I could use like a marker or something like different color markers to track the days that I've closed my circles for example on my apple watch or i have walked a little bit or days that i'm not feeling well i uh, have a headache or something like that so mainly related to health and wellness you can go in here then we have the monthly calendars i do not intend to use this calendar functionally from december i will only move in from january however i don't like my pages to remain blank so i think i'll just backfill um, december because yeah because I, like i said i like it that way it, no other reason so uh, for the rest of the uh, year I am going to use the monthly pages functionally however uh, for any uh, forward planning I think I'm going to use these uh, Midori um, these are sticky notes so anything that is far out in advance I will use these sticky notes instead or maybe use a pencil to write them down so when I actually reach that month uh, when I'm planning for that month is when I'm going to use a pen to write the appointments down uh, so I think I'll keep these somewhere tucked in here because I do plan to use them um, I plan to use them functionally throughout the year so these can go here like so next we move on to the weekly pages this again starts from it started yesterday actually today is 29th but like I said I'm not planning to use this planner until January which is this week so I have yet to come up with something uh, to fill these pages in or maybe I can just back plan I don't know uh, but the plan is to use this planner only from this particular week so I'm not doing anything here now moving on to the notes pages okay like i mentioned i want to have an index but this is too small a uh, page to actually write down the index so i think the index will have to go somewhere here i don't have any plan for this one maybe i'll put a vision board some pictures or something here but the actual index will start from here and then my daily pages and as and when i have any collections like i said i will add them here now I know a lot of people like to use tabs but I don't which is why I have used the Midori brass tabs I have three of them one is for the week one is for the month and one for the notes pages so that's exactly what I'm going to do for 2023 weeks as well uh, these are the ones that I have used in the past and these are the ones that I'm going to use now as well this is again this is from Midori and I think it has eight pieces for now I think I'll just put one here the monthly can go to the side then I will put another one for the week these are super thin so they do blend in quite nicely and then I'll put another one for the notes pages like so so that's done there's one thing that I want to do that I have done this uh, past year as well is cut off these bookmarks I cannot 
stand them at all so i did cut off last year and there you go this year as well they're not gonna stay in my book they drive me crazy these are just too flimsy and also the fact that i do like to use um a, not a pencil board these are actually um, blotting paper so these work just as well for marking pages and i also have my um, tab up here so it should be fine i'm gonna do any more setup per se now because i am too tired and this pregnancy filming they do not go together so um what i'm going to do is show you uh, a few things that i purchased that i want to use next year firstly i have some holiday stickers these are uh, from pmd and these are from uh, paper planning and more these are more indian holidays and these are more global ones then i have some month scripts these are the big ones that i plan to use uh, on the monthly pages and these are the small ones that i plan to use i'll show you where so for example december starts here so i think i will put like december right here so um you know just for funsies uh, no other reason so that's that and the holiday stickers i think i will just use in the corner uh, i may actually put these down in advance uh, so that i uh, know when the holidays fall for this year and i also have these stickers again from pmd these are the three things that i plan to use on this side of the page so i will have a this week where i will write down the tasks that i will do this week then another small section for next week and my habit tracker i have realized over the years that if i have my habit tracker somewhere else like at the back pages or with the monthlies i will not fill them up i will i am terrible at tracking habits so i will only do it if i can see the habit tracker on a daily basis and this is the perfect place so because i'll have this open on my desk i will see the habit tracker here i will remember to mark them so that's that and um i may actually use this section here either to decorate it if i don't decorate i may actually use it functionally and for that i have this little this month sticker i think that's all i have to say regarding my hobonichi weeks for the coming year i am super excited to give this a shot but i do have another a6 strategy as backup in case this doesn't work out i will use the a6 strategy i may not be able to do like an elaborate plan with me decorate with me uh, in the coming year or at least the first few months with the new baby coming but eventually i do hope to get back into a routine because planning is not just functional for me it's also like a hobby and it helps me enjoy me time so i will definitely try and get back and i will keep making videos i will obviously take a little break but eventually i will get back and uh, so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i will have more 2023 setup videos or such like coming up in the coming weeks so look out for that and i hope you enjoyed this video if it did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye